What's up guys? I'm going to play a song called Star of the County Down. It's an extremely popular song. Um, it's probably my, one of my all-time least favorite tunes. <laughs> um, until I started playing with a buddy of mine and he played it as a waltz. And we did all kinds of harmonies and stuff, but it actually worked out kind of cool. So in fact, I got a gig tomorrow night, I'm probably going to play it then. Um, and it's typically played as a march, and it's just kind of irritating, unfortunately, because uh, people usually don't play it very well, uh, and they just yell and scream and just kind of abuse it. So this version I heard, uh, a friend of mine started playing with, with me, and uh, kinda, I kind of started to like it, at least enough that I could tolerate it at a gig. So I'm going to play it this way on the video. Hopefully you guys dig it. Uh, I'll play it the way I would play with the ornaments and all that stuff. Uh, it's a slower tune, um, so hopefully you can pick up the melody, but I'll go back and break it down. So here we go. So, in my opinion, much cooler than the typical something like that, which drives me insane. So, that's why I'm not playing it that way. So, hopefully you guys agree and you like it that way. The basic melody I'll just run through real, real quick. It's very repetitive. The first part is, is it's basically A-A-B-A. That's how the, the song is laid out. So, so, here we go. So that's the beginning and the end. The bit in the middle, the B part, if we're going to call it that, jumps up to the second octave. Then it comes back around to the A part. So not a ton of notes in that one. Hopefully you'll be able to pick that up. Because it's a slower tune, um, you've got some room for some slides, uh, some kind of quicker ornaments, a, a few of them, and there's not really any rolls and stuff like that, uh, but there is a bit of vibrato, so I'll just kind of run through some of the things that I like to do with it. Uh, and then a bit of the variations as well, because you can kind of play with it a little bit. bit of vibrato there. The jump to the D, uh, what I'm doing there is from the C natural, and as I hit the D, I'm basically doing a, a quick cut in there. Uh, quick short roll to finish that phrase. Um, and on the B part, you can do kind of a slide up to the G, and a short roll. That little bit on the E, I think I've demonstrated in a couple of other videos, it's sort of a double cut, I guess it would be. And I 
get him to do it there. So then there's a triplet at the end. Um, so the, the, again, the, the key with the triplets is to get that kind of a, a pop to it. And you're doing that, you're actually hitting a G in there. So the notes are, are B, C, natural, and D. But you do it quickly enough and you get that extra kind of a bonus G. So when, it, when you play it up tempo, just has that cool little pop to it. So that's what I like to do with that song. Um, again, I don't, I don't play it often because usually it's played the other way and I can't stand that. Um, so when I do get to play it as a waltz, it's kind of fun because I play with a buddy of mine who also plays uh, whistle and low whistle and that kind of stuff. So we try to mix it up and uh, have a little bit of fun with it anyway. So hopefully you guys dig that one. Um, if you have any questions about it, as always, let me know. And if you have any requests for the next one, holler at me and I'll see you guys in the next video. Cheers.